blue, yellow, blue, yellow, blue. Hey you, my name is Elon. Welcome to the weekly Wednesday vlog. These just came in the mail. No, I'm kidding. These didn't come in the mail. These were lent to me by my friend Anes and we're gonna go and test them out. So wait a second while I set them up. We got three of them. By the way, you gotta love my super authentic pants from Nepal. Okay, so here we have the three LED panels because I'm doing a shoot where my client wanted to do something like this. Dear young people, don't vote. Don't vote. Everything's fine the way it is. And from what I can tell, it's pretty much just two lights lighting the face and one light on the background, which is what we're gonna be doing. So I figured let's just test it out in this shoot and see how these LED panels perform all together. These are kind of a budget version, so after reviewing them, I might think about actually getting something similar like this for video shoots and interviews that I do on a pretty regular basis. So I'm gonna turn off these fluorescent lights, which are pretty yellow. They're up high in the Kelvin spectrum. And these lights will look extremely blue because of that. But that is to be expected. That is actually a pretty cool look, but this, this weird circle right here is, is some kind of weird lens flare. But I mean, interesting to say the least. Okay, so as you saw, I put these two panels in front of me on the two sides and this one in the back. Now the problem is these are very blue because the white balance is still set to the incandescent lights. So I'm going to switch up the brightness to the highest and the Kelvins, which is going to give me the yellowest possible light. Now I think it's pretty high. As you can see, when I'm looking straight, I still get the shadow under my eye. So I think this panel is a little bit too high. I'm going to put it down. It's also going to make it closer to me, which is going to make it brighter and give me a softer light. So I adjust this one as well, as warm as possible and as bright as possible. Now, since one of them is gonna be the key light, they don't have to be the same brightness. That means one needs to be brighter than the other, but I'm gonna figure it out once I get my setup right. And now that I think about it, this is a pretty wide lens, which I use for vlogging, but for interviews, I like to use a closer one with more compression, giving more natural features, which is my 50 millimeters. So let's switch them. Whoop. Uh, switched and as expected, I am way too close. I need to be like over here for the camera to catch me and I'm way overexposed and I'm leaning on the backlight. This is gonna take some setting up, so bear with me. So that's kind of what I had in mind. I bet you've never seen me in glasses, but I have to have them on in order to see if I'm in focus or not. But I can't tell either. I need new glasses. These are like, these are over 10 years old. I think I got these when I was 16 or something. I turned these two panels way down to their minimal power and as yellow as they can be to make that light stand out with the blue hue. That one's on its most powerful and its most cold. So that's why we have this color co contrast of orange and blue but this little hair light over here is a little bit too bright for me so maybe i should go with what i originally was planning for the shoot and that's to light up the background give me a sec so that's roughly the look i was going for more or less the panels are where they have to be the key light is a little bit brighter than the fill light i have the back lit up and i'm pretty happy i might want a closer shot of the faces so it's more Draw, drawing you more towards their character and what they're saying as opposed to the background that works pretty well i guess I, i'm sorry i keep looking up because my phone is hanging above showing me what exactly is going on in camera and that might be okay again the panels might be a little bit too high because i still get that shadow under my eye which i do not particularly like so just above the face turn into my face and i will put an nd filter on this i guess because it's a little bit too bright my iso is on its smallest and putting the shutter speed up too much is going to make it look weird because you know shutter angle thing so this should be fine now that i think about it maybe i should make vlogs like this more often it's pretty cool but i don't have these lights these cool guys every day let me just grab one of them so we can take a look at it and see what's cool about it honestly at first glance i wasn't very optimistic about this panel the build quality is not really good like this 
thing blurry whatever it is diffuser is bendy shaking falls out if you don't have the switches up properly and they fall down on their own easily it's kind of aluminum so it's not plastic which is really great you can attach two batteries here which i don't have neither would i use them because i don't know how long the shoot would go on for and if i ran out of power not cool so i'm going to be using these with a power adapter plug them in directly in power and have them running for as long as i need them they are not hot they are cool as any led panels the lighting it gives off is absolutely amazing and the fact that you can control the warmth from being as warm as possible to as cold as possible makes a huge difference i don't see any flicker i don't see any color cast not magenta not green or cyan or whatever that's an awesome plus so however budget version they are they do their job incredibly well and i would not think twice before investing in a set of these if i knew that is what i needed for my work there are a couple umbrellas in the box i'm not sure if i will need them for extra diffusion let me actually try and see what that would look like even though i don't know how i would attach them because i'd need a separate mount for that i should actually dig around in the bag because i think there might be more pieces that are missing so i can actually let me shove this in somehow directly sorry attach this to the light and gives you this amazing diffusion of course it takes down the brightness it gives you this amazing diffusion which is absolutely awesome for portraits and whatever it would be even nicer if it was not in shot but whatever so if i can figure out a way to do this it would be perfect for the shots i'm planning for the day and the day after and that vlog you will see next week, I'm guessing, if I'm able to record stuff and parts of my shoot. But as usual, guys, thank you so much for hanging around for this little video. I hope it was interesting, insightful, educational, whatever you like to take away from my vlogs. I hope you learned something new and I'm going to see you guys next week. And I keep forgetting to like say like and comment and that stuff throughout the video, but you'll get the point. And, and it was probably visually somewhere over here.